Hello everyone. I have no idea what to do uh, as far as video ideas go. Uh, <laughs> the brutalities one was probably the best idea I've had, but I for some reason forgot every other idea I had. So yeah, I'm not exactly feeling too artistic at the moment. Regardless of my face. <laughs> so I might, I don't know if this will be a long video or whatever, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I just came up with the idea. I might just have a look at my favorite art pieces that I've done. So we got some pencil shit, some colored pencil shit, some fine liner shit, some alcohol marker shit, some paint shit, some shit. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose uh, that could be a good idea. Fuck it, let's do it. Also, low key, I love how my makeup looks today. <laughs> So, this one I did for my my last wit assessment, my painting assessment, was supposed to do uh, kind of self-portraits or just like any portrait of someone, like a live portrait. Uh, so I did it of myself because it's easier to look into, you know, a mirror type thing and instead of looking at someone's face going, you know. Uh, and it's also the biggest art project or art piece I've ever done, which is, uh, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, kind of somewhat of a self-portrait. <laughs> I added some uh, gloss, sort of, uh, what do you call it, gloss medium, to give it that shine, like on the on the hair and stuff. You know, you see the gloss? Yeah. Makes the, the black outlines look darker as well. Um, and just, like you know, the darkness, but yeah, and the light. Yeah. So, there's a lot of shit that went into this. A lot of uh, subliminal messages, because I like doing art that has that type of vibe to it. Whereas, like, you question it and, you know, what, what could that mean? Or that's, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, sort of a dark patch, so this is just sort of how I felt. And um, I guess the candle's somewhat of an ember of hope. And the artist kind of looked dead as well, so that's pretty cool. And there's two reasons why I went for the grey sort of tone. Uh, one, I could not get flesh tones to save my fucking life. And two, um, I don't know. I really just wanted to go for like some type of dead vibe. So there's that. And like my hair is spot on. Like it goes from the black down to like the burgundy sort of. It's hard to see, but yeah, it's there. And uh, yeah, raining blood because, uh, you know, raining blood. Fucking Slayer! And rain, because rain is fucking aesthetic as fuck. So this basically is just a giant freaking aesthetic post. <laughs> but also has a lot of meaning to it, so there you go. I guess we're just gonna do all the paintings first. Um, that seems appropriate. This one is uh, one I was kind of testing out different type of uh, painting techniques, like flickering and uh, that type of thing, and pesto, and like with a toothbrush and stuff. Um, making these like like quick lines and just like going on the making sound effects, making those types of things on the thing that makes all these like little dotty effects. It's really nice. It was supposed to be like a I don't know, just like a, a dead Victorian chick in space. Um, it kind of didn't work out the way I wanted because um, she kind of looks she kind of looks headless. That wasn't supposed to be the, the vibe. All this shit is her hair, but she's supposed to be just like, you know, floating in space, dead. But yeah, it kind of turned out a bit too morbid. I say too morbid, nothing's too, well, some things are too morbid, but eh. You know, I try to like build up the layers like hard out on the white to make it stand out. That's the impasto and yeah, I just didn't, they don't quite work out the way I wanted, but the fucking background looks mint, like, I love that. See, that's the second painting. <laughs> One of the ones I wanted to feature, uh, my mum has at her work hanging up, so yeah, it's just like, I'll probably feature it here or something. Uh, it's just like a bunch of rocks, um, and then like a flowing river with like a little koi fish hidden in there. But yeah, that was like literally just a 10 minute painting, I think it was. I think that was the challenge, but yeah. Half of these were for my bloody, because I don't usually paint, half of them were for my uh, wit course. This one is again just lots of different painting techniques. Doing the old paintbrush going and then 
more path die, all these flickery things. This is kind of another little galaxy sort of thing. I got really obsessed with like galaxy theme stuff towards the end of uh, my whipped tenure. But um, yeah, it's just like I loved using the toothbrush. It was really good fun. And uh, yeah, there's that. <laughs> not really, not really too much to it. It's just different little things. They kind of look like meteors, I suppose. I wasn't really going for anything specific. Yeah. Now this is in my little sketchbook that I used to carry around with me like everywhere I went for courses or whatever. But if you haven't been on my art page, it's Demon York Art. Uh, I post a lot of, um, well used to, uh, a lot of fine liner art. So I, I don't use fine liners how they should be used. Um, but you know, it's just art, so whatever. But I love this one because it worked out so well. I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna draw a sexy freaking chicken lingerie and yeah. I mean, it's only head and shoulders, but you know. It, I fucking love it, eh? <laughs> She's just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, good little, good little gal. <laughs> I'm just gonna feature this one because I was scrolling through my book and I saw it. Yay! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I thought this one was kind of cute. Just a little, uh, little witch chick doing a float. <laughs> Some little uh, green tones sort of in there. Yeah, pretty neat. There's another sort of lingerie sort of chick, I guess. Anime titties. <laughs> Here's a possessed chick. Yep. Yeah. So this is the kind of shit I'd do when I like wouldn't have all my pens with me or whatever. Like I'd just work with black and whites and yeah, if I did have a colour set it's got a lot of red and blood in it, so yeah. This one I, it didn't really work out how I wanted to, she kinda has a long face. But uh yes. It's supposed to be Ash Costello from uh New Year's Day. They're a fucking awesome band, I recommend them. But um yeah, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted. But yeah, well. Still looks alright. I mean Mm. I'm really just going through all my sketches, but I fucking love this one. See, I got really into Tokyo Ghoul at, uh, at a time, and um, yeah, the only things I'd draw would be like fucking things that had ghoul or half ghoul eyes and shit. So this is supposed to be like some sort of mental asylum dude with a mask, you know, because the ghouls have to wear masks and shit. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. But yeah, the, the hairstyle is kind of... Uh, I suppose somewhat uh, inspired by my own. Legit. This is so weird. I'm scrolling, through, like, we're going through all these and I'm just seeing them and I'm like, holy fuck. You can actually see my improvement get better and better. That's great. But this one was, um, yeah, I think it was the second week of my art course. And I was just chilling in class and yeah, I just did Corey Taylor from Slipknot. And yeah, you can just see how, like, all the shading and everything is weird. I mean, it's hard to shade with fine liners, but hell. Ah, it's just fucking... It's, I don't know, it's easily noticeable how I've improved. Strange. Another, no, this is another fucking example of my subliminal, you know, message art sort of thing. So, like, kind of got to, you know. You know, yeah. Oh, I just want to cure. Look at her eyes. Poor Sayori. Captioned was, um, I posted this on my art page. Sayori got uh, peer pressured by the scene kids. So. Aww. Ha! Self portrait! <laughs> I fucked up the mouth. So every time I fuck up the mouth on a, on a drone or a sketch, bandana. It just works every time. <laughs> but that's me. <laughs> okay, I'm stopping the sketchbook thing because there's just too many gems in there. Alright, I think I did a video on this one. I may have. But it's uh, Lily and Hanako from Katoi Shoujo. Done in uh, alcohol markers. Or alcohol based markers. That's so cute. I love it. Da, 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 da. That didn't really show up too well on the camera. Fuck it. Ooh. That's a Yuri! She's so cute! What the hell? Did I do it? Oh yeah, I did do a video on this one. Go watch it. It's the it's, it's another Yuri one. <laughs> That's adorable. Love that. Most most of these ones I've done videos on. 
Well, a few of them are. Ah, uh, not most. A few of them, I should say. Well, the good ones. This is Athelina. That's my uh, goth girl OC cosplay thing that I haven't done in ages. But you know, she's still cool. Speaking of Tokyo Ghoul, um, another thing I just randomly designed with the black and reds. Fucking dope. There's a couple of uh, really, really weird ones actually. Um, just trying like different markers and just going fucking ham with it. But yeah, I try to like mimic DDLC, you know, when it goes all mental and shit. So that's Natsuki. Um, I think the yellow, oh sorry, the yellow, uh, the purple represents uh, Yuri's blood. I don't know. But yeah, it, it just looks all ugly and mossy and weird. And then it's Monica! And she's fucking. Yeah, I actually kind of creeped myself out when I freaking drew those. Like, looking back at them now, it's like. <laughs> so, I watched a bit of Fairy Tale when I first kind of got into watching anime and shit. I ended up not liking it because it was just really repetitive and. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed a bit too cartoony. Well, not cartoony. Too, like, kitty. I don't know. But anyway, I drew all the characters. <laughs> All in fine liner. It's hard to say, but yeah. But it kinda turned out alright. If you know Fairy Tale, you know Fairy Tale, whatever. I think my favourite character was uh I think his name's Fresh Froshy or whatever. I don't know, he's just really fucking cute. Or she, I don't even know. I did it here or she. They. Let's be safe. And these ones at the bottom, all my DDLC ones. I've done videos on these, but it was when I first set up my desk here and like I was really into bloody doing everything so you know I was just like shitting out videos every week <laughs> there's that one all the girls pretty neat and then there's this one which oh yeah this is the one that I posted uh, first to like kind of you know start it up I was like itching to like I had the video edited and I was so ready to you know upload it and uh, yeah, that's probably probably one of the favorite ones I've done. It's pretty, you know, you know gory and whatever, but that's DLC, really, like, you know. I like it. And there's the cute one. This one I actually didn't do a video on my bed, but it was when I first set up my desk. It's very cute. He's like, just Monica. I was actually super proud of this one. Because it was the first time I actually tried to use like some type of a lighting effect instead of just doing a shading, you know? And uh, it kind of worked out alright, I'm not gonna lie. And there's blood on the bow. Neat. I think that might wrap it up because I don't really want to edit too much and, you know, put you know, a shit ton of things in a video and make it too long and convoluted, so, you know, I'll just leave it there. This has kind of been just like a giant ad for my art page, so, you know, go follow my art page. Demon Eok Art, as well, as well as my cosplay account, Demon Eok Cosplay, and my main account, Demon Eok 101. That's the one I'm most active on, but you know, obviously because it's my main. Mm -hmm. But as always, I hope you enjoyed. Um, go and watch my other videos that I've done, you know, my other drawing videos. They're pretty cool. You can see me, like, doing it all in time lapse, and it's, yeah, it's quite interesting to see, in my opinion. Comment your favorite art piece, because I'm really keen to hear. Like the video, subscribe if you want. It's your life, you do what you want. And life goes on, and then it ends. Facts. I'll see you later.